here we are again and it is Wednesday morning and Holly's really wanting to jump up on the bed right now but if she did that she would knock over my computer and it would be a disaster so if you see me holding my arm out that's me trying to stop her from coming up so I am going to read a story wait a minute today at 10 o'clock there's gonna be a parade we're coming to your house rain or shine that means whether the rain's coming down or whether the sun's out Steph Hannah and I are going to be in our cars vroom, vroom. I think I'm gonna bring Holly with me so maybe she will look out the window um, and I doubt she'll bark. She just doesn't bark when she's in the car. But we're gonna stop by and say hello to everybody. So if you do have your cards done, or if you're making cards and finishing them up, we will pick those up as well and give those to people who just need a little bit more sunshine on these days when they don't have anybody to visit them. So they'll get a visit from the rainbows. Okay, so let's move on because we still have a story to read before we come see you. We are exploring letters and we've done lots of things with the alphabet this week. And this is the book I chose, Eating the Alphabet, because I hear a lot of you are eating and eating and eating and eating. Oh, there is the letter A. There's an apricot, artichokes, avocados. Mmm, so many friends like avocados. Asparagus and an apple. What comes next? Oh, yep, letter B, we have blueberries, beets, Brussels sprouts. I love those vegetables. Broccoli, that's another favorite of mine. And bananas, ba, ba, banana. That makes me laugh. The letter C, we have cucumbers. We have corn, cabbage, cherries. It's hard to read upside down. I'm trying to look at the pictures. There's cauliflower. What are these? orange vegetables, carrots, that's right. This is also, these are currants. They look a lot like cherries. Let's move on. D, we have dates. E, endive. I'm not sure, I'd be interested to see if anybody's actually tasted that. E is for eggplant and F is for fig. Were you gonna say fruit snack? I'm not sure that's a real food. All right, G, we have gooseberry. I've never tried that before. Grapefruit, grapes, and H, this says huckleberry. I'm not sure I've tried that type of berry also. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a list of foods that I think I need to try. Here we go. I, Indian corn. This is, I can't read that. Oh, J is jalapenos and chikama. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I know we've had that at school before. K is for kumquat, kiwi fruit, and kurabi. Oh my gosh, I love kurabis. It tastes kind of like a turnip and a radish it's so good and they come in purple too this is the letter l for leeks and lemon and lettuce and limes mm, i like all of those m is for melon and mango n is for nectarine o is for orange onion and okra. 
Have you guys tried all of those? P, I almost called that an R, but it doesn't have its leg there, right? P is for pineapple, peach, pear, papaya. Mm, these are all really good fruits. Plum, pomegranate. Those are so good. Those teeny tiny little seeds, they just explode in your mouth. And then parasimmon. I am not saying that one right either. I'm not familiar with that. We'll have to look that one up and get the right pronunciation. Parsnips, potatoes, pea, pepper, and pumpkin. There's so many things to eat with the letter P. What comes next? Q, quince. There was just one. And then here comes our R. We have raspberry, radish, rutabaga, and that's all of them. I'm not sure I've had all of those either, but they do look delicious. S, Swiss chard, spinach, starfruit, strawberry. I know for sure we've had starfruit before for snack. T, there's turnips and tomatoes and tangerine. U is ugly fruit. And I know we've had that. Remember when we used to have our mystery fruit? That was so great. What is this? V, vegetable marrow. How interesting. W, watermelon and watercress. Ooh, what's next? X, Y, and Z. X, I, G, U, A. I'm not sure about that one. Can you believe it? There's still so many things that teachers don't know. I'm gonna look that one up. We have yams and zucchini. I have had both of those. And look at the back here. This says, how much of the alphabet can you eat? I bet you guys can eat the whole alphabet. I've seen you eat before. So here's something that I thought would be fun. I'm gonna show you a couple pictures. Um, I will be making my own fruit salad um, and maybe a fruit smoothie. That sounds really good for breakfast. So I'll get my special knife, chop, 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 some bananas. I like strawberries. I think those are the only two fruits I have left in my house right now. I'm gonna have to order some more. But I have frozen blueberries, strawberries. Oh, I have strawberries also. I'll cut, chop, chop, chop some strawberries up. I'll either probably snack on some of those when I'm chop, chop, chopping. And then I'll put them in our blender and have a smoothie. I have to add milk. I like to add milk to mine. Some people add water. So I had that idea, or you could help make a fruit salad like I was talking about, or you could do this. I'm gonna show you a picture. I've seen some really cool pretend fruit and vegetables made out of cardboard. The ones I'm gonna show you are called root vegetables. That means they are down in the ground and their roots are down in the ground. I can think of uh, potatoes, turnips, carrots, I think radishes might be a root vegetable also. I'm gonna share just like we've done before. Look at that. Is that just so cool? You can make things out of cardboard and you can have like your own garden or you can have that delicious fruit salad. I see kiwi and strawberries and blueberries and grapes, some tangerines and maybe some mangoes. 
anything is possible guys because your brains are so amazing the important part is is to have fun enjoy your families and just keep creating i can't wait to see you soon bye rainbows